Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing fine. I'm Shabana the side, your friend and colleague. So today I'll be discussing in short uh, about a scenario in which uh, the midwife uh, has asked you to see a patient with undiagnosed breach in labor. And the scenario is that the patient is in early labor and midwife has done the bedside scan and she has discovered just now in the labor room that the baby is in the bre breech position. So this is again a simulated patient task and you will be tested in communication with patient, information gathering, patient safety and applied clinical knowledge. Yeah. So you are not going to use any medical jargon and no technical terminology. So when you will meet the patient you will tell her that Jennifer, I have been asked by the midwife to see you because the midwife has some concerns. Has the midwife discussed the concerns with you? The role player will tell you, no doctor, please tell me, what is it? Is my baby okay? Uh, yes, Jennifer, your baby is okay and happy inside the womb. But uh, I have some concerns regarding the examination and scan findings. I have confirmed your name, age and NHS number on scan report. And uh, the concern is that the baby is in bottom down position. And we are concerned about risks and complications that can occur during labor in babies with bottom down position. Now the role player is really going to get very upset and angry and she will tell you, doctor, I'm so upset and angry. How was this missed? I'm sorry, Jennifer, I can see how upset and angry you are and you have the right to be so. Even I would have been the same if I would have been informed that my baby is in bottom down position in labor and it was not diagnosed earlier. So Jennifer, I'm really sorry about this and I'll be writing an incident report and team of expert will investigate why bottom down baby was missed. Also everyone involved in your care will be questioned regarding this and we are going to be very open and honest about this. Result of investigation will be conveyed to you. Is that okay? I'm sorry and I apologize once again. Can I continue please? Taking things forward, I would like to discuss with you about the delivery options for a bottom first baby. At that moment, the role player will tell you that, Doctor, I don't want to have cesarean at all. Just ask her, may I know why? She will tell you, I don't want to have any operation. I want to deliver vaginally and have a natural birth. Then tell her that, yes, I do respect your wishes. And I would, I would like to tell you that every woman has the right to choose when, where and how they deliver. At the end of the day, it's going to be your decision. Whatever decision you will make, we are here to help you and support you in that. Is that okay, Jennifer? So coming to the options, I will be discussing about them one by one. Regarding cesarean section, as per evidence, it's the safest option to deliver a baby which is in bottom down position. Of course, it's a major surgical procedure, but generally safe in expert hands and bottom down baby can be delivered safely. There are some disadvantages. There is some risk of surgery and anesthesia. You will be having longer hospital stay, delayed recovery. There is some risk of pain, infection, bleeding, risk of clots in legs or lungs. During procedure also, there is some risk of injury to bowel, bladder and blood vessels. In the future pregnancy, there is more chance of having a caesarean and there are some risk of having complications with afterbirths. But I would like to tell you that for the bottom down baby, this is the safest method of delivery. Am I clear so far, Jennifer? Any questions? Second option, now you will explain about the ECV, external cephalic version. So second option is turning your baby in head down position through your tummy known as ECV. It is successful in 1500 women, but in women in labor, the chance of failure is little higher. There is some risk of separation of afterbirth, which can lead to bleeding and can cause distress in baby. 
and if such a situation arises, then there is risk of emergency caesarean in about 5,000 women. The benefits are that if it is successful, then you can have vaginal birth and it will avoid the risk of caesarean. The third option is delivering the bottom down baby vaginally. That is the assisted vaginal breech delivery. The benefits are that surgery is avoided you will be having shorter hospital stay, quicker recovery if everything goes straight forward. There is some risk that the baby may get stuck up and if not delivered in time, may even die inside the womb. I don't want to scare you at all, but I want to make you aware of all the things so that you make an informed choice regarding your delivery options. So may I know what's your thought about your delivery options, Jennifer? She will say, let me discuss with my partner. So tell her, okay, that's fine, but please do take a decision sooner so that we can take things further from here. I'll also be giving you the written information leaflet regarding bottom down baby in labor. We'll be informing my consultant, baby doctor and pain doctor as well. The pain doctor will discuss with you about pain relief options. And with epidural, that is with injection in back, there is some increased chance of caesarean. Am I clear so far? Do you have any more questions? Thanks for your cooperation and time. Thank you. So I have again tried to keep it as simple as possible. And this is again about counseling the patient with undiagnosed breaching labor. And you're going to discuss all the three options with her. That is the caesarean section, external cephalic version, and assisted vaginal breech delivery. Discuss the pros and cons. Give her the written information leaflet. Let her take some time to decide about her delivery options. And uh, of course, uh, you will be informing the consultant about her case. And as it is a simulated patient task, so you will be tested in the communication. So keep practicing, keep talking, keep speak, speaking and I'll try to post next audio clip as early as possible. Thanks for listening. Until then, goodbye and take care.